What it do, Nick fans? What it do, Nick's talk ruined and uncut? Yes, indeed. It's your boy, Psych Dizzle. What's going on? First pre preseason game in the books against Detroit. Which I think, man, which I really think, man. First preseason game in the books. For those that don't know, preseason is just, you know, introduction. You know, is a 20... 20 to 21 man roster, you know, um, you're working out your rotations, you know, working out your uh, your lineups, you know what I'm saying, seeing who fit with who, you know, who can run what, who can do what, and things like that in that nature. So preseason, you know what I mean? The games count, but they don't count, you know? So preseason just give you an outlook on, you know what I'm saying, what things are going to be like in, in, in that nature, you know? And also, preseason could be a good thing, preseason could be a bad thing, so... I don't really get too caught up in it, but like I said in my first video, I, it's, I'd rather did not even win every preseason game. You know, we had bad experiences with that last year. We won every preseason game, and you see the outcome of that. So it could be a good thing, and it could be a bad thing. But on that note, what y'all think, Nick fans? What y'all think? It was an excellent game yesterday. Excellent game yesterday. Um, The starters ain't really do too much. They didn't take too many shots, and it was still curtains. You know what I'm saying? So that that's a good look. That's a good look. Jalen Brunson controlling the ball. It's an excellent look. Excellent look. That man was that. Yeah, he, excellent look. 16 points for uh, Jalen Brunson. My boy, R.J. Barrett. R.J. motherfucking Barrett. I told you already. My boy. 21 points, lead um the lead the, uh, the lead uh, scorers on the Knicks, and most definitely like and, and that was in the, and that was in the beginning, that was in the beginning, you know it's it, 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 it was it was it was real good. I liked it with the first unit did came out, you know did what they had to do. Second quarter is when the Knicks really blew it open. They had a, a 40 to 21. Uh, advantage in the second quarter. So they really blew a wide open in the second quarter. I mean, it was a real good game. Like I said, Jalen Brunson did his thing. 16 points, 5 assists. I think he shot 7 for 9. It, 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 it was good. It was good. It was good, man. Julius Randle wasn't the spin Randle. He, cause he ain't had the ball in his hands that much to really do all that. You know what I'm saying? So, yeah. 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 Like I said, I'm not getting really too caught up in it. It's just preseason, but from what I'm looking, with Jalen Brunson running the offense, it freed up a lot of things for a lot of people. RJ, RJ Barrett, you know what I'm saying, was uh, knocking down corner threes and stuff like that. And I like the in between the legs pass. RJ Barrett did the OP topping, you know what I mean for the <laughs> for the slam. So I mean, it was a real good look. Glad to see Derrick Rose back in shape, killing. That was a great. I mean, it was great, man. It was yes, I like that. Quickly looked it good. My boy Deuce, Deuce McBride, my boy Deuce, six steals, baby. <laughs> yeah, that ain't just preseason. That's that, that that's when that's all day. Six steals, baby, big Deuce. You know what I'm saying? So it was it was real good, man. Isaiah Hartstein, I told you that boy different. That boy, <laughs> that boy different. Excuse me, that boy different. Spreading the floor, diving for loose balls all over the place. Grabbing offensive rebounds, defensive. I mean, that boy was all over the place. And mind you, did y'all see the boy stroke the three? Hit the three? That second unit is going to be crazy. Crazy. Tibbs got options. I mean, options beyond options. It shouldn't be no excuses this year. No excuses on not playing these guys. This is this is a good look with these young boys. Real good look. Real good look. I'm telling you, everybody played well. You know what I'm saying? There was some mishaps in there. You know, a couple of things that we could have done better. I seen a lot of miscues and you know things on defense and stuff like that. You know what I mean? Um, Ivy Rob, RJ Barrett. I didn't appreciate that. You know what I mean? But uh, you know, things in that nature that we could work on and definitely get better. And you know, but overall, I think it was a pretty okay game. It was a pretty, it was a pretty good game, pretty decent game, you know. And like I said, the 
the second unit and the third strings played more than the uh, starters. You know, the starters came in, they, they had to do, they ain't throw too many shots up, but it was uh, efficient and effective. It was definitely efficient and effective. And like I said, second quarter with the 40 to 21 second quarter, the advantage of the Knicks, it blew the game wide open. At the half, the Knicks was leading about 12, through like 65, 53. So, end of the game, 117, 117, 95. So, you know, it was a, it was a, it was a blow. It was, it was a good game, though, overall. It was a very good game. And like I said, that's what I'm talking about. You know what I'm saying? My one fact that I have, that, that I have, the one fact that I got me crazy, Cam Reddish. Boy, man, what's up, man? Like, damn, nigga. Every time I turn around, this motherfucker getting hurt, man. God damn, boy. You know what I'm saying? You stepped on a rough foot. Okay, cool. You know what I'm saying? They said you understand the game. Coach Statham's got you up out of there. You can't take no chances with you, boy. God damn, Cam. Please, stay. please, Cam. You need these minutes. You need this time to show Tibbs and everybody. Like, Listen, man, you got me fucked up. Got me fucked up. So, Cam, please, man, please be, stay healthy, man. Stay healthy. God damn. Need you to stay healthy, Cam. For real, man. Like, please. You know, but other than that, it was a good game. Mitchell Robinson denying everybody. Yeah, man. I mean, it was, I mean, yes. Yes. If that's, if, if, like I said, preseason, nothing to get hype about. You know what I'm saying? But, if this is what we got to look forward to, I'm excited. I'm definitely excited. I'm definitely excited. The most important thing I mean, I'm excited about, and I've been saying this in all my videos, the most important thing I'm excited about is not having the ball in Julius Randle's hands all the motherfucking time. I'm ecstatic about that shit. Hell yeah. Let's go, Knicks. I'm ecstatic about that shit. Jalen Brunson, do your thing. Yes, we got a healthy Derrick Rose. Do your thing. Emmanuel quickly, quickly, do your thing. Deuce, my boy Deuce McBride, do your thing. And I like the other guy, too. I can't even pronounce his name, but I know his name is Ryan, number 51. Yeah, that boy, yeah, that boy's all right, too. Yeah, I heard he's in Villanova with uh, Brunson. Yeah, that boy's all right, too. Yeah, all, yeah, bring all them boys. Yeah, get all them distributors out. Get them boys on the court. The less Randall got the ball in his hands, it could be effective other ways. The better off we off. The better off we are. Please. Don't. Please. <laughs> he got me fucking up in my book. Please, man. I do not want the ball in that man's hands. Bringing it up and things like that nature. Nah, I'm happy we got a point guard. He ain't got to be a superstar, but he's damn sure above average. Let's go Knicks. Jalen Brunson, baby. So like I said, man, it was a good game. Excellent game. You know what I'm saying? So, like I said, man, Knicks talk world are cut, man. Like, yeah, man. Yeah. Yeah, I'm very happy with that. Very happy. Very happy. Tibbs did, did, did good rotations. Could have could, 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 been a little better. You know what I'm saying? But he did good rotations. You know what I'm saying? That's just a few miscues and everything like that. But overall, it was a good game with something to learn. You know what I'm saying? And like I said, hard steam. Hardenstein is going to crack that lineup. I don't know what Jericho Sims is going to do. I don't know what Jericho Sims is going to do. Kev, if you don't get your shit together, I don't know what you're going to do. Because soon as motherfucking Quinn Grabs come back, boy, it's going to be a motherfucking problem. I'm telling you, it's going to be a problem. I don't know what to say about that one. So you better get your shit all the way together, boy. All the way together. So on that note, like I said, it was a good game. You know what I mean? Knicks fans, it was a good game. Next game we got against uh, Indiana, the Pacers. You know what I'm saying? So we'll be ready. Get them boys out the way, too. Get them boys out the way, too. We'll be ready. We'll be ready. They ain't doing nothing. They ain't doing nothing. So what we got to do, get ready, prep up. Same thing how we did this game. But even better, go, watch, go over, watch some film. You know what I'm saying? And just make sure. The few little mistakes that we had in the first game, we don't have in the second game. You know what I'm saying? So, overall, it was a good game. I love it. Let's go. I don't get too caught up in the preseason, like I said. But from what I'm looking at, 
I like what we have. Love what we have. So on that note, Knicks fans, you already know, Knicks Talk Raw and Uncut. Like, comment, subscribe to the channel. You know what I'm saying? Do what we do. You already know what we do. We smoking, we drinking, and it's raw and uncut. Ain't nothing else. So on that note, I see y'all after the Pacers game. Whether it's right after, going live or something, or the next thing, you know, I'm coming. So I see y'all after the Pacers game. You already know. Knicks talk. Raw and uncut. Trey out.